culture. Her house is full of aromatic smells that remind her of India, of home. Strong pungent smells of coriander powder, turmeric, garlic and onion permeate throughout the entire house and into every nook and cranny. It is 1988 and she and her family have just immigrated to the land of the free, home of the brave. This is the least of her worries. She is bullied relentlessly by the kids in her sixth grade art class. These bullies begin every day with a game of musical chairs. The objective of the game is to keep her from finding a chair to sit on. They stand in front of chairs, in between chairs, on top of chairs. They even pull chairs away from underneath her. She takes 10 graceful steps to get to the other side of the courtyard. She is barely touching the ground as she moves. And one by one, she slashes, whips, stabs, bully after bully until they are wiped out of existence and out of her life for good. Her eyes well up with tears as she wonders, why is this happening to her? She's a good kid. She does her homework. She brushes her teeth. She massages her mom's tired feet. She must be doing something wrong. Goes running. She imagines that she is a Bollywood princess and she begins to smile. 